in this series of podcast, I shall implement a telephone directory program using Java. Let us start by the program definition and top level design. This is going to be a very simple console based telephone directory where each telephone record is going to be composed of the name, the surname and the telephone number. The functions that are going to be performed by this telephone directory are adding a record, searching a record, deleting and editing uh, telephone records and obviously displaying the, the telephone records. Let us start by the top level design. As a telephone directory is made up of a list of telephone records, it is very important that we define a class to represent a, a particular telephone record. On the right hand side of the screen, you can see a class diagram of a class named Telrec. This Telrec is going to represent one single telephone record. In fact, as you can see, it is made up of three attributes, which are the name, the surname and the telephone number respectively. Note that all the three attributes are of type string. It is very important that when storing telephone numbers, we use a string data type and not an integer data type. The reason being that when storing telephone numbers, first of all, it is not required to work out any mathematical functions on the telephone number, and therefore it doesn't make sense to, to use a numeric data type to, to, to store it in memory. Also, since telephone numbers may include extension numbers or symbols such as plus and brackets, it is very important that we use a string so that these characters can be stored in that particular attribute. Apart from the class Telrec, on the left hand side of the screen you can also see the main class of this program which is going to be called Telephone Directory. The only, or, or to put it differently, the, the, the basic attribute of this Telephone Directory class is Telrex, which is an array list of telephone records. This class, the Telephone Directory class, is going to, to have in it a number of methods that are going to be used to do all the required functionality and also the main method that, that will start up our program. Let us first start by implementing the Telrec class, which is made up of these three attributes, name, surname, and telephone. So I am going to load NetBeans. I'm going to create a new project Java application, I'm going to call it Telephone Directory. And under the source packages, I am going to add a new class, which I will be calling Telrec. I'm going to remove these comments. And I am going to write down the attributes. Obviously, we will be using the concept of encapsulation. And therefore, it is very important that each attribute is defined as a private. So private string name private string surname private string telephone I am going to create the getters and the setters for these attributes I am going to use the automatic feature of NetBeans so I am going to select insert code getter and setter and I am going to select 
all the attributes. So now we have this Telrec class that is representing one single telephone directory record. I am now going to go to the telephone directory class which was created automatically by NetBeans. I am going to remove these comments. Note that in telephone and in, in this class we have the main method. So this is going to be the entry point for our program. And uh, the only attribute or the main attribute of this class is going to be an array list of telrex that will store a list of our telephone records. So I am going to define it as private array list telrec. I'm going to call it telephone records equals new array list of type telrec. The first thing that we have to implement in this class is the main menu. It makes sense that we implement the main menu in the constructor of this class. So I am going to write down the constructor It is a parameterless constructor and here I am going to write the menu options of this program. So string for a system dot out dot print ln for example option one add record. Option two search record option 3 delete record option 4 edit record option 5 display all records and option 6 exit obviously since we have a main menu based on the console we have to create an instance of class scanner so that the user will be able to type in the menu option. So I am going to define a scanner I am going to fix the imports so that the java.util.scanner will be automatically imported and obviously after that I have displayed the menu options on the screen I am going to ask the user to enter the menu option the best way to do this is to define a string variable here for example string menu option the reason why I am using a string and not an integer, although the menu options are all integers from 1 to 6, is so that if the user types in an illegal character, for example, uh, typing the letter S instead of a number, the program will not crash, but it will handle the situation well. After displaying 
the menu I am going to allow the user to type in his choice by doing menu option equals input dot next line and as you know in this line I am accepting the user to type in some string and I am going to repeat this menu until the user types in option 6 which is exit once the user types in the number 6 the program should stop therefore I am going to do a do while loop within within the main menu and I want this to be repeated while menu option is not equal to 6 therefore here the condition is going to be while menu option dot equals 6 is equal to false like this the main menu is going to be repeated until the user types in number 6 to try this out I am going to create an instance of this telephone directory from this main memory in other words if I write new telephone directory and I will run this class the main menu should be displayed on the screen and it should be repeated until the user types in number 6 which is the exit I am going to try this by right clicking here and clicking on run file this is the menu if I type in any character even an illegal character like this one the menu is displayed again until I type in 6 where the program is stopped the next step is to write a method for each option so that when the menu is implemented these methods are invoked for now I am going to write blank methods empty methods then we will I will implement them later on so I am going to write a method for instance add a record so private void add record and I will do the implementation later on another method search record another one delete record edit record and the last one display all records So these will be implemented later on but let me write the code that will invoke these methods in fact as soon as the user enters the menu option we can do a simple if statement to check whether the user has typed in one of these five options so if menu option dot equals number one then we have to add a record meaning that we have to invoke 
this function, this method, in which later on we are going to write the code to add a particular record. So I am just going to invoke the method add record. Else, if menu option dot equals two, we have to search for a record. Therefore, I am going to invoke the search record method. Else, if menu option dot equals three, we have to delete the record. If menu option is equal to four, we have to edit the record. And if the menu option is equal to five, we have to display all records. And like this, we now have the skeleton of our telephone directory program. This brings us to the first podcast related to this telephone directory program. In the next podcast, we shall continue to implement the add record for the telephone directory. For more information, kindly visit our website on www.metushwirab.com or on www.mxtuition.com.